We have one last um, presentation by Philippa César, who is uh, working on a project with Anne Caroline Renninger, who is uh, working basically on her own as a one woman show, um, accompanying structure for artists and filmmakers in Berlin called Junfilm. And um, I yeah, I think I have this one. Yeah. Um, thank you so much, Hannah. And um, I'm going to stand because I decided to. Maybe we can have the first image. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, because um, I would like to first thank um, the team for, of On and Four and the Wendubens and um, also Anne Caroline Reiningen that brought me uh, that this. Uh, producing and uh, helping me with this project and um, everybody that came actually um, here to, to hear this. Um, I think, oh, there's no image. Yeah. <laughs> um, basically, the idea was not to, to, to talk about the project because uh, I was uh, thinking about this 15 minutes being so short. So what I, what I decided to do is to read to you um, an essay that I wrote uh, actually for last year for, for another context, for uh, the symposium thinking with Arun Faroki. And um, with, I thought it would, even if, it, if this, this essay is the parting point for uh, the idea of a film, to make a film out of this and also to open up a, a discussion, um, I think it would be, uh, I think the, the, the form to, to keep it really short and then to develop in the discussions this afternoon. Um, I'm just going to read the essay um, and then uh, we will go further. So maybe we can have the, the, the film. No, it should have some, not so loud, but... This is a selection of non-aligned records. Flipping through palm tree leaves, grazing Vicky knowledge pastures, looking through mismatches and tepid encounters. A few palmitic captions. In December 2014, I was working on the West African coast with Guinean filmmakers. We toured with images from a common past projected onto a common present. When we were done, I decided to take a break and spend one day on a tropical island. I thought I was taking a break, and still, I was at work. I went to a tropical island and ended up at a palm oil plant. <coughs> On a tropical island, the sun can blind. With the palm of the hand turned down, I make a shade for the eyes. I seek for a palm tree shadow. I look down to the ruins of a German palm oil factory. Palm, flat of the hand, the inside of the hand, and inside the hand, the palmitic acid. Palm, tropical tree, the name derives from a, from a shape of its leaves, like stretched fingers of the hand. In the Assyrian cosmology, the palm was the sacred tree connecting heaven, represented by the crown, and earth, the base of the trunk. It was adopted into Christian iconography to represent the victory of the spirit over the flesh. The word palm traveled up to the north in Europe, where the tree does not grow. 
I remember the word palmatoria used in Portugal, Portugal for a flat piece of wood for punishing children. To palm is to impose something on someone. The extended form palm, palm off means to impose something fraudulently on someone. In Portuguese, palmar means to steal or to make something vanish with a sleight of hand. To conceal in the palm means cheating at cards of dice. A palmer is a pilgrim who has returned from the Holy Land carrying a palm leaf. The punning sense of palm oil as a bribe is earlier than the literal sense of palm oil of, of oil from the palm from the West African palm. Grease is in someone's palm in the palm oil industry. The port village Bubak, where I was in that December, is built on the ruins of a German palm oil factory. In these images, the most proliferous oil palm of West Africa, called in Latin Elias. Guinensis grows on this island. The German factory was established between the two world wars and was active until the beginning of 1980s. On a blog named Auf den Spuren der Deutschen in Bobak, traces of Germans in Bobak, family members of former factory owners share their nostalgic tropical memories. I quote, as a manager, my grandfather was there from about 1924 till 1938. The result was a palm oil factory with associated plantations and a paved road made of seashells connecting the other end of the island. The bloggers express their wishes of reactivating the palm oil factory today. I quote, given the actual demand for palm oil in the world market, the rehabilitation of old plantations can become profitable investment. If someone has an interest, I would be willing to reactivate the project. Ta produce coisa manga de aceite que tempo a bionta ria ali na mar e curte tempo quase que nem bagi borda e bem para e carga tanque e arranca para parte de chuva e balanta. O tanque naquele tempo e vai. Eu falo como ele leva e sete naquele tempo para fazer bomba na guerra mundial. Naquele tempo. O Yangi homem, que tem 74 anos. O que tu dizia que ele quebra na fábrica? Que ele trabalha? Era mecânico. É coisa, motorista de carro que tem transferir se vem para fora, até tomar se vem na mato, é na tisi para fora. Falsi do Cé, era homem de caleira de sete. Ele estava na caleira de sete. De um sinho, mas de um sinho, e campanha, ele se manga, ele se manga, quase morria. Ele se gente que está, fica na trente, e de um outro está na parte de caroxo, conforme o fardo na trabalha. 
sih juga sebenarnya gitu di kita di rende kita lebar kayak kita kesikian bro kita sih juga sih di kita pernah tempur gera gera di Hitler kita kita lebar baku fasi bomba bomba di 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 avion baku fasi bomba di avion They are traces of the factory all over the village. Like an archaeological site, the findings pop out of the ground, half buried, half exhumed. They are useful findings, structuring buildings and pavements, ornamenting backyards and terraces, making pitfalls on the ground, serving as candlesticks or plant poles. Palm oil is one of the most lucrative products of tropical regions. Palmitic acid, discovered by Edmund Frémy in 1840, is obtained by the saponification of palm oil, rendered from the palm tree species Elias guinensis. It is used to produce cosmetics, fuel and release agents. In humans, Palmitic acid comprises up to 30% of human fat. It is a major lipid component of breast milk and is used in the treatment of schizophrenia. Palmitic acid and naphthenic acid were combined during World War II to produce napalm. The word napalm derives from the words naphthenic and palmitic. Surname palm, given name na. No annual rings form inside a palm tree trunk. Palms don't count time in years, as if resisting historicism. No log in of the tree log. No timer on the timer, timber. Palms forget to record and remember to forget. The word napalm is no longer in use for today's bombs, but the palm extracted from the word is still a component of the, bom of the incendiary bombs produced, sold, oystered into the sky and dropped onto Syria, Iraq and Afghanistan today. A palm tree transmitter was planted on the new Federal Intelligence Building in Berlin, where there where the tree does not grow. Potted palm, tepid palm, palm of fertility, peace and triumph, palm court, palm door, palmistry, exotic palm, palmitic tourism, jeu de pomme palm ornament or subordination ointment, all of palma may be condemned for condemning the palm.
a villager of Bubak sweeps the seashell ground with a palm broom to show us the tombstone of a factory owner. If you are a tourist on a tropical island, the sun can blind. First, you close your eyes to the sun. Then you close your eyes to the ruins. Then you close your eyes to the working conditions. And then you close your eyes to the entire factory. Wie man das wenden kann? From Arun Faroki. How to turn it around? I am a tourist on a West African island. My German partners could use some palm, palm tree shade. That is why I, came, I became a palm oil producer on a West African island. In Berlin, I planted a palm tree transmitter, but no matter what I do, it always casts a palm oil bomb shadow. I am a worker and worked in a palm oil factory on my West African island. I believe, though, that the factory was producing palm oil bombs for Portugal and Germany, but we really could use some proof. That is why every day I took home small portions of palm oil. At home, I tried to put a palm oil bomb together. But no matter what I did, it always turned into a palm tree holiday shadow. I'm a pilgrim arriving, to, uh, arriving at the tepid palm tree Berlin. In Africa, I was a worker on a German palm oil factory. In Berlin, I'm a refugee seeker in a, an European crime factory. No matter what I am, I get caught in a shadow production system. I am a filmmaker shooting image, images on a West African island. The tourists tell about palm tree holiday shades. The African workers tell about palm oil bomb shadows. I shoot the palm tree holiday site, but no matter what I do, I always get palm oil bomb images. The palm tree shade can become a useful African transmitter. The palm oil bomb can become a useful European shadow. What a palm tree casts depends on tourists, refugees, African workers and filmmakers.